Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Rosa. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thank you for asking. Um, probably other people have some problems with internet connection. I've heard that there are some problems, probably it's raining in different places. And I've heard that there is no electricity in other places, electricity, or probably they have issues with the internet. So we are going to wait a couple of minutes to know if they are able to connect, okay? To be online. Okay. Okay, no problem. Today we are going to review a little bit of uh, the previous um, vocabulary that we have learned and also yesterday's class. That was about um, the simple past and the present perfect. So we are about to begin and just let me check here the activities. Uh, did you do the homework by any yes. chance? Yes. yes, I did, yes. Okay, very good. So we are going to check in a couple of minutes. Probably you will be, you will be the one who will begin. Okay. And how was your day, Rosa Maria? Was it a good day or was it a bad day? Good day. Good day, I, right? Yes, yes. Did you work today? Yes, I, I work. You work the, every day or just uh, from Monday to Friday? Um, to Friday. Um, I work in my in my home. Uh, um, how? Uh, trabajo remoto. Uh, remotely, you work remotely. Yes, yes, I remotely. Okay, okay. You're you're a teacher. And no, no, no right. I, I no, I work in the bank. Ah, you work I'm in the bank. Yes, but not as a cashier, right? But you work differently, like yes, like, I in an administration area, right? Yes, yes. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Okay, very good for you. We have Tatiana. Good evening, Tatiana. We are just waiting. Good for, evening. Good evening. We are waiting just for some of your classmates. Probably they okay. have some problems, but uh, we are going to begin in a couple of minutes. Good evening, Maria. Okay. We are going to begin in a couple of minutes. Uh, today, we are just going to review some of the information that we studied yesterday, and we are going to have were some extra activities and also an activity for tomorrow. Hopefully, everybody will be able to, to participate, right? So we are going to begin right now. Let me check. So this is what this is what we were studying yesterday. Uh, did you study the the past participles of the verbs? ¿Estudiaron los pasados participios de los verbos o no? Did you learn it by heart or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, remember yet. that you have to study mm -hmm. this, right? This is important if we are going to use the um, present perfect, okay? Actually, it's beginning to rain in my city, so I guess that probably we have some problems with the rain. That's, pro that's probably, that's why... We won't, we won't have a lot of participants, we are, but we are going to, to let them know about different activities that we are going to have. Also, uh, we were talking about the structures, uh, the differences between simple past and present, present perfect, and also how we can combine it, right? First, we, still, uh, we can begin talking in, with the present perfect, and then we continue talking in simple past where we want to mention something uh, that has happened in the past and is still relevant. And if we want to uh, be a little bit more specific, we can use the simple past, right? So we can say simple past with completed events at a definite time in the past. And the pre present perfect, we can use it with different uh, situations, right? Events that, ha that happen at an indefinite time in the past, events that began in the past and continue up to the present, etc. Also, uh, we studied a little bit of, we saw a little bit of examples, like have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? 
Yes, I have. We cooked hamburgers. We have another example here. Have you tried sushi? No, I haven't, but I'd like to. Did you have a breakfast today? Yes, I did. I ate a huge breakfast. And have you ever eaten um, Mexican food? Yes, I have. In fact, I ate some last week. And did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. I had some on my way to work. And we were talking about present part, the present perfect simple. As we already mentioned, we can use it in past events, recent past events, and unfinished states. And also we learn uh, different words, right? For example, for, that we can use it for periods of time and since, que significa desde, verdad? Since last night, since uh, three months ago, etc. This one is three. And also yet, right? Yet means aún, right? O todavía. I haven't made dinner yet. I've never been to America. This restaurant has been famous since 2001, and I worked there here for four years. And also we completed this uh, conversation, and this was the homework, right? Like, for example, find someone who has cried during a movie. Find someone who has traveled to another country. Find someone who has met someone famous. Find someone who has had an exotic pet. Find someone who was born in another country. Find someone who was born in 1940. And find someone who can play an instrument. For example, have has any of you cried during a movie? ¿Alguno de ustedes ha llorado uh, cuando estaban viendo una película? Yes, I have. You have, Maria? Yes, I have. You have, <laughs> okay. What movie, which movie were you watching? Uh, se llama, A Metros de Ti se llama. A Metros de Ti. And is it a romantic movie? Yes. Okay, and you cried at the end because it was really romantic. All the movie, I cried. The whole, the whole movie. <laughs> okay, very good. I had a friend that um, she was watching a movie with uh, with her husband, and she cried in the movie because she was pregnant, and the movie was about about pregnant women, mm -hmm. and she started like watching the women that they were suffering with the kids, and they were having problems in the pregnancy, and she started to cry. A lot, probably because she was pregnant, but, but I don't know. Probably, I don't know. And Rosa, have you cried uh, in, in a movie or during, uh, or while you were watching a movie? Yes, I cried during uh, La Vida es Bella. La Vida es Bella, yes, yes. That's, that's a good movie, right? It's very sentimental, right? Yes. Yes. And Tatiana? Yes, I cried with the Avengers movie. With the Avengers? <laughs> yes. With, which part when did you cry? Iron Man's death because Thanos killed him. Yes, Thanos killed him. And Iron Man's, at the end, he, he dies, right? And you were yes. crying there at the movie theater? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. So, yes, a lot of people cried in different movies, right? We don't know which one, but yes, it's different. And Noé, have you cried uh, watching a movie? Yes? Yes, Noé? <laughs> You're on mute, Noé. You're on mute. Yes, yeah, it's trying to connect with the audio, but for some reason it's not connecting. Can you hear me, Noe? No? I cannot hear you, Noe. Yeah, probably there is a problem with the connection, connectivity issues. But anyways, we are going to talk about different things right now, about the homework. Uh, who did the homework? Rosa, you, were, you, you did the homework, right? Yes, I did. Okay, did you find someone who has traveled to another country? Yes, uh, 
Javier, my son, uh, he traveled to USA with my husband two years ago. It was very exciting. Okay, very good. He was very excited. And uh, did you travel with them? No, uh, uh, only my husband. Only your husband. Okay, and your son. Okay, did you did you find someone who has met someone famous? Yes, um, Carlos, my friend, he mm -hmm. met Olga Tañón. Oh, Carlos, your friend, met yes. Olga Tañón. Where? Yes, he, he met Olga Tañón in an elevator in a mall. In a mall? He got, yes, he got into the elevator uh, where she was... Um, was going with the with her bodyguard, 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 mm -hmm. and did not recognize recognize uh, her. When the elevator opened, uh, people uh, screamed. Uh, he got a scar, a scar. Mm -hmm. He saw her again, and she smiled. Until the, that moment, he recognized uh, her. Like, until, uh, until that moment, until, he, he recognized it. Recognize her. Recognize her. Yes, recognize her. Exactly. Recognize her. <laughs> okay, but he was not here, right? He was in another country. In, in, in Galerias. Acá. Oh, here Acá. in Galerias. Yes, yes, yes. Like long time ago. Yes, long time ago. Yes. Okay, very good. Did you find someone who had an exotic pet? Um, um, yes, my friend uh, Lisette. Her husband they bought her a snake. Snake? Yes. She snake. likes snakes? No. <laughs> As a gift, <laughs> she cried and the snake uh, escaped. It was a joke in bad taste. <laughs> It was a joke. No. Okay, no. that was a really bad joke, right? Because she cried. Yes. Uh, what do you say? Um, una mala, mala broma? A bad joke. A bad, a bad joke. It was a really bad joke, yes, because bad she joke. cried. Yes, it was okay. really rude, rude, right? Yes. And did, did you find someone who someone who has was born in another country? Um, my nephew Daniel, he was born in Los Angeles here uh, 14 years ago. Oh, your nephew. Okay, very good. And did you find someone who was born in 1940? Uh, I don't know uh, someone who was uh, born in 1940. Exactly, but I know uh, someone who was born in 1935 mm -hmm. is my, my father. Your father was born in 1935? 35, yes. Oh my God, and he's still alive and he's, he's, he's okay right now? Yes. He's yes, a, right. Okay. Okay. Very, very fine. He's healthy, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. And did you find someone who, who could play an instrument? Let me see. He he friends uh, of my son. He was playing. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice flauta? Flute. Flute in the school in symphony. Okay. Okay. Yes, a lot of people can. I I didn't know that, but a lot of people can play uh, the flute. I didn't know that. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Rosa. Sure. Uh, yes. You're here. Yes. Okay. Now okay. I can. Now I can hear you, Noé. Very good. Now I can hear you. Thank you. Excuse me, teacher. Me está fallando. Me está fallando el audio. Yes. It's raining. It's raining, right? Yes. Yes. In this moment, there's a lot of people. Uh, have like connection problems. I just received a message saying that we have like this kind of problems. But anyway, I, I will let you hear someone else. Alguien más? Hizo la tarea? Someone else? Someone else? Who did the homework? Quien hizo la tarea? 
Maria, did you do, did you do the homework? But yes, teacher, pero no todas, unas. Okay, okay, which ones? Uh, find someone who has traveled to other countries. Mm -hmm. My brother, he sent me, he traveled to uh, Mexico and USA. Mm -hmm. And okay. next, next sentence, uh, find someone who has met someone famous. Mm -hmm. Me, I met three art artists famous. Which ones? Um, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Al Mágico. Uh -huh. Al Mágico también. Uh, oh, ¿Cómo se llama este? Y, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Me olvidé el nombre de este niño. Álvaro Torres. Álvaro Torres, ajá. Uh -huh. Y Alejandro Fernández. Alejandro Fernández. Okay, did you have pictures with them? No, no, no. A veces estaba como a cinco metros de él. Ah, okay. So you saw him. You say, hey, hello. Yes. Oh, okay, very good, very good. Hey, what pero else? Con, yes. Pero con el mágico, sí. Oh, mágico, you have pictures. Yes, I have. Okay, very good, very good. And hey, what else? And uh, find someone who can play an instrument. Uh huh. He plays a uh, flute. Flauta, la flauta. Flute. Who can flute. play the flute? Yes. Who can play the flute? Sí, yes, teacher. ¿Quién puede tocar la flauta? My son. Your son. Yes. Okay, very good, very good, perfect. So those are the, the people you found, right? Uh -huh. Okay, very good, very good, Maria. Thank you for your participation. Now, another person, please, who wants to participate. ¿Quién más? Me, teacher. Who said me, teacher? Tatiana. Okay, Tatiana, go ahead. Uh, the first one, find someone who has traveled to another country. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, my aunt, Griselda. Uh, she traveled to United States with her sister mm -hmm. Dalia. Okay. Actually uh, they lived there. They lived there, okay. Yeah. Uh, the second one by someone who has met someone famous. Yes. Um, my friend Vanessa. Mm -hmm. She met uh, Luciana Sandoval and Daniel Brooks because they work near to the office okay and and they did they say hello to them or she just saw them she just saw them okay very good and another one mm, find someone who has had an exotic pet yes yes my friend daniel uh, has a snake i don't like snakes but he likes he likes snakes. Yes. Okay, very good. And you don't like snakes? No, I don't like. Okay, very good. And did you find someone else? Mm. Someone who could play the, the an instrument or? Yes, my husband played the, an electric guitar and mm -hmm. the piano too. Okay, so he's a musician. Yes. Okay, very good. So he can play the piano and an instrument. Very good. Thank you, Tatiana. Now, uh, do we have someone else? Alguien más que quiera participar? We have a lot of people here. So, so who did the homework? ¿Quién más hizo la tarea? We have a lot of people. Another person, we have Noé. We have Mauricio. We have Hector. We have Walter. We have Jaime, we have Brian, we have Lisette, we have Rosaura, Aisa, Mercy, and Carla. Who wants to participate? Nobody wants to participate. Nobody, or nobody did the homework. Nobody did the homework. Nobody wants to participate? Hello, teacher. Rosaura, yes, are you there? 
I didn't my homework. You didn't do your homework? No, I didn't, but I can try. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I have my my little daughter near to me. Mm -hmm. Maybe hey, you can hear. Here. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, well, um, find someone who has traveling to another country. Mm -hmm. Yes, my sister um, traveling at Brazil mm -hmm. um, since 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And he, she visit different place and, and bought a lot of things for our family. Mm -hmm. I remember she bought, um, how do you say, sandalias? I don't remember. Sandals? Sandals, mm -hmm. but uh, special sandals because the, uh, was the madera, like madera. A wood made of wood. Yes. Okay. Uh, very, very well for me. Um, a little strange. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. someone who has met someone famous. Mm -hmm. uh, well, when I was a child, I remember that I uh, went to the cir circle. Mm -hmm. Circle. Mm -hmm. And I know the chilindrina. Chilindrina. <laughs> yes. Okay. She was um she was um, a little old. Uh -huh. I don't I don't know is is polite polite say that. Yeah. But uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I took a picture. You took a picture with, with her with yes. Chilindrina. Yes. Okay. Very yes. good. And the next find someone who has had an exotic pet mm -hmm. yes i i have a friend uh, he he has a um, iguana mm -hmm. <laughs> iguana and i uh, i don't like iguana because i feel nervous you feel <laughs> I, nervous okay uh -huh, yes but um, um he like like uh, find someone who was born in another country yes mm -hmm. I work for Habitat for Humanity. It's an international ONG. Uh -huh. uh, and then uh, there are work. Some people, I have a co-worker. Mm -hmm. He's um, Brazilian. Oh. Okay. And mm -hmm, I had a co-worker too, that Italian. Mm -hmm. And um, two or three people, I don't remember. Uh, that uh, USA. United Thanks. States, okay. Yes, I have opportunity to, to speak English. <laughs> okay, but, very good, it's good but, to practice. Uh, because a, a lot of school workers speak English. Okay. Um, the next, um, let me see, find someone who was born in 1914, mm -hmm. uh, 14. No, I don't know any. You don't know anyone, okay, no okay. problem. Uh, and the last one, find someone who can play instrument. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, my son uh, learned to play guitar too. Oh, he can learn how to play the guitar. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Do okay. you know how to play an instrument also or no? You don't mm, know? No, no, uh, I, I don't know. Okay, okay, no problem, very good. Thank you for participating. Even if you didn't do the homework, it was a good participation. Thank you, Rosario. Thank you. Okay, someone else or that's it? Alguien más o nadie más quiere participar? Me, coach. Carla, right? I'm sorry. Yes. Coach, uh, okay. no I, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. Uh, find someone who has traveled to another country, my cousin Harold. Mm -hmm. He traveled to Belgium. Belgium. Uh -huh. uh, find some, yeah, Belgium, yes. Uh, find someone who has made some famous. Uh, my, my stepfather, when he was young, he was living in Texas and he went to a concert of Selena. Oh, he met Selena. Uh, yes. Uh, find someone who has uh, an historic pet. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend had a tarantula. 
Tarantula. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, and find someone who has born another country mm -hmm. and some some cousins uh, they weren't no they born in USA. Mm -hmm. And um, someone who play an instrument, my brother, he can play. He can play. It's only that. And what guitar. instrument? Guitar. Okay, a guitar. So, is he a musician or is it just a hobby? No, it's a hobby. It's a hobby. Okay, very good. Yes, many people can play different instruments just as a hobby. Very good. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. Yeah. Somebody else, okay, or you. that's it. Do we have another volunteer? Me, what? teacher, but I only make the the first exercise travel the to other country. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister Gabby mm -hmm. and learning to speak other language, Mandarin, English, and French. She has really liked uh, studying and traveling on the other uh, country. Mm -hmm. He was traveled a lot. Uh, he traveled to Africa, for example. Okay. Uh, the, uh, I don't know, Iceland, Islas? Yes, to Iceland. The Iceland to Fifi. Fiji. Uh, Fiji, yes. Okay. <laughs> and uh, in the other country uh, to Europe, uh, to uh, Spain, 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 and uh, in Central America. She like uh, she like uh, to travel many for your work. It's a good uh, in. She like uh, to study the other uh, language. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but it, yeah, they she speak very very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and uh, uh, and only teacher because the other question I don't have the people I don't know the people that uh, exotic pet pet. I don't know. Only, only cat and dog. <laughs> okay. Uh, only, only. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So your sister has traveled to different countries, and she speaks different languages, also, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. So very good. So probably she, she, she has. She's just kind of busy, and and she's like a polyglot because she can speak English and Mandarin, different languages. Yes, I think the Mandarin is a, a language very difficult to speak, but she loves, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, probably. Yeah, some people like it, but yes, it's kind of difficult, all, all of these, these Asian languages. Very good. Thank you, Mercy, for your participation. Uh, do we have Same. another one or that's it? Someone else who wants to participate? Nobody else? Okay, nobody else. Okay, very good. Remember to practice, to practice, to prepare your homework, because if you prepare and you express your ideas, probably you can better and you can um, commit less mistakes, right? Pueden cometer menos, menos errores si se preparan y practican lo que van a decir. So actually you can use this kind of um, expressions. For example, I found out that Roger has never driven a car. Encontré o supe o averigüé, ¿verdad? I found out that Roger has never driven a car. Que Roger nunca había conducido un auto. Or also we can um, begin this kind of conversations like a question, right? Did you know that Martha had played piano since she was six? So we can uh, use this kind of expressions or, or, or also if it is a negative, uh, I can say, I didn't find anyone who has ridden a horse, for example, or I, I didn't find anyone who has played an instrument, right? So we can say it in those ways. Now we are going to talk about the topic for today. And the lesson for today are sequence adverbs. Vamos a ver cuáles son los adverbios de secuencia. Vamos a ver qué es un adverbio y para qué se usan solo los adverbios de secuencia, only those ones. For example, it says here uh, the objective sequence adverbs are used to help describe a progression of events. 
often used in recipes or instructions, sequence adverbs such as first, then, next, after that, and finally. Contain information about the order of actions and create natural transitions in writing. In this lesson from English teacher Joe Sands, practice describing recipes in English using sequence adverbs. These lessons includes an English oral comprehension exercise. So um, the sequence adverbs are first, then next, after that, and finally. So they are very similar, okay? So muy similares. For example, uh, this is something that we are going to keep practicing, let's say for today and for tomorrow. This is a recipe. Recipe is receta, verdad? Receta. So we have our recipe. It says Elvis peanut butter and banana sandwich. So we can see here the adverbs. First, mix the peanut butter and mash bananas together. Then lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the, pe spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. Finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. This is a recipe. Entonces, aquí está diciendo cómo se prepara este sándwich, ¿verdad? What is made of is made of peanut butter and banana, right? The mantequilla de maní y de banana. Now, all of these first, then, next, after that, and finally, they are adverbs. But what is an adverb? We have uh, studied nouns. We have studied uh, adjectives also. Now we are going to study adverbs. Vamos a estudiar adverbios ahora. An adverb is a word belonging to one of the major form classes in any of numerous languages, typically serving as a modifier of a verb. An adjective, another adverb, a preposition, a phrase, a clause, or a sentence, expressing some relation of manner or quality, place, time, degree, number, cause, opposition, affirmation, or denial, and in English also serving to connect and to express comment on a clause content. Aquí dice, porque tiene muchas palabras este concepto, que el adverbio es algo que modifica otro adjetivo, modifica adverbios, modifica preposiciones, modifica frases, dependiendo de donde esté. Pero normalmente modifica adjetivos y también otros adverbios. Y puede ser de diferentes maneras. Hay adverbios de modo, hay adverbios de tiempo, de lugar, etc. Pero hoy solo vamos a estudiar los de secuencia. Only those. Sequence adverbs. And we have the sequence adverbs here again. First, What does it mean first? ¿Qué significa primero? Ah, perdón, first. Es primero, ¿verdad? Then. Primero. What does, the, what does it mean then? Primero. Después. Then, exactly. Yes. Después. Exactly. Next. What does it mean next? Siguiente. 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 After that. Después de. Después de. Después de. Uh -huh. And finally. Finalmente. 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 So that, that's it, right? In English, we don't have like an order, but in this class, uh, probably you can use it in this order. First, then, next, after that, and finally. We can use that order, but normally we don't use like an, an order specifically. It says here, sequence adverbs are used to describe the order in which two or more actions happen. Sequence adverbs include first, next, then, after that, and finally. And if you want to make an omelet, for example, you need to break eggs first. Next, you should heat butter on a pan, etc. So we use a comma after first, next, then, and finally, when they introduce the sentence that describes the action. Vamos a usar una coma solo cuando empiezan una oración o introduzcan una oración. También estos adverbios pueden ir al final y cuando van al final no se les pone coma, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver unos ejemplos. 
for example, first is for an action that happens before any others. We can also use first at the end of the sentence. For example, I have a lot of work to do. First, I will make a cup of tea. And here, as you can see, we have a comma, right? So that's okay. But at the end, there is no comma. I, I will a make cup a cup tea. of tea first. So we can use it at the beginning or we can use it at the end. Okay. Next and Next then can both be used for an action that happens after another action but we usually use next right for example next for an action that happens immediately after another action or as soon as possible we can also also use next in a sentence for example i went to bolivia on holiday next i want to go to brazil i'm eating breakfast now i will clean the kitchen next so mm -hmm. you can see here that next at the beginning, there is a comma here because it's at the beginning of the sentence. And here it doesn't have a comma because it's at the end. And uh, then and after that is very similar, right? It's for an action that happens after another action. And if it is not immediate, we can use then without a comma. For example, Sarah is doing her degree. Then yeah, she, wants she wants to be a to lawyer. Be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Sarah, Sarah will probably not be a lawyer immediately after she gets her degree. We have another example. They went shopping in the morning and then they went to the zoo. The primero fueron a comprar en la mañana y después fueron al zoológico. So we don't know if they went to the zoo immediately after they went shopping. And finally, that is the, the last one, right? For the action that happens at the end, after any others or after a long time, we can use finally before the verb without a comma. I worked all evening. Finally, I went to bed at 11 p.m. I worked all evening and I finally went to bed at 11 p.m. And after five years, I finally sold the house. So as you can see, we can put it at the beginning we can put it um, at the end also. And also we can put it after I, right? I finally, I finally sold the house. I finally went to bed at 11 p.m. So we can move it, right? It depends. But uh, today or, or in this class, we are going to use it at the beginning of the sentence. So you can learn how to use it. This is an extra, an extra conversation I will share I will share it with you and I will explain it to you because I think that we won't be able to listen to it, but this is an audio. Este es un audio, pero creo que no lo vamos a poder escuchar porque ya intenté con otra clase y no lo pudimos escuchar. ¿verdad? Y también tal, podríamos tener problemas con los uh, derechos cuando uno lo sube a YouTube. Entonces les voy a compartir este audio y si ustedes quieren lo pueden escuchar uh, después. Solo Este es el enlace, ¿verdad? Solo les voy a compartir aquí. En el chat. Y también se lo voy a compartir en el grupo para que ustedes lo puedan escuchar. Entonces ustedes eh, cuando entren a este enlace, ¿qué es lo que van a ver? Okay, if you click on the on the link, you are going to see this learning English, inspiring language learning science, and this is about food and mood. As you can see here, um, it's explaining or it's really it's re, uh, related to how food can affect our moods, right? For example, when we eat something that we like, we feel happy, right? And when we, for example, a person who has headache, for example or who feels tired, probably this person might drink coffee, right? Tomamos café cuando nos sentimos cansados, o decimos que queremos levantar el ánimo. Tomamos un poco de café, y ya se nos va el dolor de cabeza, o se nos va el sueño. So, this is related to food and how it affects our emotions. Also, we have Mercy here. Uh, she's an expert because she is a psychologist, so she can explain that better. Uh, she knows more about this topic. But once you access to this uh, website, 
you will uh, listen to it. This is the uh, this is the link, and if you click here, you will begin listening to it. But you cannot listen to it, right? You cannot no. listen to it, no, right? No, teacher. Yes, because now I can listen to it, but you you are not able probably because well I don't know how 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 it's done, but it's kind of long. It's not that long because it's just six minutes. And it is related to this topic, okay? We have vocabulary that we can study. It is very complete. The vocabulary is God. And uh, do you know what God is? Seven K is God? No. No. Okay. God is like it says here your stomach and other organs through which food passes and is digested, like your intestines, right? Intestines, your gut. Anxiety. Anxiety is fear or worry, right? When you're anxious. Germs, very small organisms, which often cause disease. Fermented, fermented is like in Spanish, right? Fermentado, like food or drink having gone, having gone through a process where sugars are changed into acids and alcohol. Diet, we already talked about diet, is the kinds of food and drink eaten by people in an area. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science is like an expression, right? It's a, a, It means it's not difficult to understand. It's not rocket science. And here, if you play the audio here, you will be able to listen to this conversation. All of this is the conversation. It's, it's here, it's written down, okay? Ya está escrito aquí, esto es lo que dicen. Y aquí hablan de gods, de, de investigaciones, ¿verdad? And also we have an interview, small interview with the Dr. Michael Mosley. And they asked them about the diet, the best diet, what is the best food to be healthy? What is the best food to be happy? And he's, he starts explaining, right? Like only fish, olive oil, grains, fruits and vegetables, uh, and also fermented food also. So they talk about this and probably if you have time tomorrow or later, you will be able to listen to it. Actually, it's very interesting and you will be able to put into practice your vocabulary like God, anxiety and different things. So since we are not able to listen to it, I just wanted to show it to you and you will be able to, if you have time, practice it later, okay? So just, this is an extra, right? This is an extra activity. So um, I don't know if you have any questions. Well, actually, after that, after listening to it, we were we were supposed to answer these questions like, what was the conversation about? What is the meaning of fermented? What is the name of the doctor who was interviewed? What is the meaning of the following expression? It's not rocket science. We already know, right? That is, it means it's not uh, difficult to understand. And what kind of diet is recommended in the interview? So uh, you, you can listen to it. It's very good and it's for you to practice, okay? Now, I do, also you are going to practice this uh, vocabulary. This is the one that we have studied already there that is shown there. And these are moods, right? Estos son como um, tipos como how, how you feel, right? During the day, probably, or you feel depressed, low, have the blues, calm, also stressed, angry, anxious, nervous, relaxed, happy, secure, tired, etc. right? Because food can affect us. So I don't know if you have any other question about this vocabulary. Do you have questions about um, how we use have, simple past, simple present perfect? Or do you have questions about um sequence adverbs do you have any question no uh, yes. oh no 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 in the in the uh lamina what do you say lamina <laughs> slide La, slide is mm -hmm. the the first the work that need you for the exercise first next this one them yes thank you this one, okay. What, what what's the question that you have here? Uh, link, linking, light, lighting. 
is it the pronunciation? Uh, uh, where, then, where is it? Then, then la, like, like toast the slice of bread. And the second ah, uh, okay. paragraph. The second paragraph, then lightly toast. Lightly. Eh, lightly. Lightly toast. Lightly toast. Le tostamos, pero eh, poco, ¿verdad? Lightly uh -huh. toast. Lightly toast. The slices. Slices. Uh, okay. Slices son los pedazos de pan. That is a slice, uh -huh. the one that we have here. Very good uh -huh. question. Uh -huh. Very good Likely. question. Okay. Okay. Do you have any other question? Any vocabulary? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Ok, María Sigüenza, see you tomorrow. No problem. If you have problems with the connection or internet, I understand, ok? So, if you don't have more questions, we are going to introduce a little activity, ok? We have studied what? Food, right? We have been studying about food, different uh, pronunciation, different grammar, and now we are going to put it into practice because here I need you to practice. Aquí vamos a resolver dudas, venimos a practicar, venimos a... Si no entendemos algo, pues lo tratamos de resolver para que todos sepan. Now, this is the food. I, actually, I guess that we haven't uh, seen this, this slide. So we are going to name the picture, uh, the food in the picture, okay? What is this? What is the one here? Meat. What is it called? Meat, right? This is meat. And next to it, what is this? The white one. Um, it's an egg, right? Egg. Como, egg. It's an egg. egg. Como digo huevo estrellado in English? How do I say that? I don't know. Egg broke. <laughs> no. Egg broken. No, no. It's fried egg, right? Fried, fried egg. egg. Ah. Fried, fried egg, egg exactly. Fried, fried egg. egg. And right. next to it, what do we have here? Is it, what is that? The fish. Fish. Ah, fish, exactly, fish. And next to the fish? The orange ones? I forgot it. Ah. Shrimps, right? Shrimps. shrimps. Yes, mm. shrimps. And below we have banana, banana. right? Banana. Banana, exactly. And next to it? Chicken. 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 Exactly. Chicken cooking in an oven. And next to it, these ones, I guess they are a vegetable. This is a vegetable. They are cooked. What are those? They are eggplants, right? Eggplant. Eggplants. Exactly. Berenjena. Yeah. Berenjena, exactly. And next to it, what are what are these ones? Onions. 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 And this one? Potatoes. 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 It's exactly. like an yeah, potatoes. Yes, it's like potato, right? But it's like yeah. like uh, in a, cooking in an oven or with species. But it's I, it's it seems like potato for me. But uh, do you know how to prepare any of any of those? Saben cómo preparar alguno de esos? Do you know how to prepare a fried egg? Do you know how to cook it? Yes, no? How do you how do you prepare a fried egg? ¿Cómo preparamos un huevo frito? How do we prepare it? You put uh, oil in the I don't know sartén in English in a pan. Uh -huh, in, in a, a pan. pan. Mm -hmm. And you attend to um Yerba. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the oil and you broke the egg and and um lo deja caer you left okay I don't so know. You, you put you put the, the egg on the oil right the hot oil okay uh -huh. yes. and what else and what else after you break the the egg um and you uh, attend to X is it's okay for <laughs> I don't know an English teacher. <laughs> it's difficult, right? It's difficult. Yes. yes. So you need to wait until it's like it is it is fried, right? Do you do you add salt to it? Le agregan sal o no le agregan sal ustedes? Yes. Me. That's right. No. Or no. Me no. No. I know. 
I know. Okay, so she she doesn't mercy she okay. doesn't add salt to it, but some other people, yes, they they do it right, and also pepper, right? If you want to, and once it's fried, how do how do we eat the fried egg? Do we eat it with ketchup? Do you add ketchup to the fried egg or no? With tomato. With tomato, okay, tomato sauce or just tomato, like slices of tomato. Tomato slice. Okay, tomato slice. Some people eat the fried egg with mayonnaise. Have you eaten the uh, fried egg with mayonnaise? Mm -hmm. I like. Yes, yeah, you like it. Okay, very good. Yeah, algunas personas se lo comen con mayonesa, el huevo frito. They like, <laughs> yes, they like like that. It's, but there's some it's people. It's bizarre. Uh huh. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. Extreme. Yes, it's strange. Yes, yes it's strange. strange. Yes, but yes, yeah, some people like some people. Yeah. They some people have their own recipes, and some other people have their like the common recipe, right? The the recipe that we all know. Now, mm -hmm. since you don't have uh, questions about this vocabulary and uh, you don't have questions about words or grammar, uh, we are going to practice, right? Because that's why we are here. So tomorrow uh, we will have to prepare a recipe, okay? It says here, the activity, listen to it. Prepare a recipe and try to use sequence adverbs and the vocabulary that we have learned. For example, how do you make a sandwich? How do you make a sandwich? First, you put uh, the slice of bread, then you add chicken. After that, you add vegetables. And then after that, you add a uh, ketchup or mayonnaise. And then you put it, you put the other slice of the bread. And finally, you toast the, the, the sandwich, right? So we can use a sandwich as an example. Or for example, for example, how do you make fresh salad, right? Fresh salad, or how do you make chirmol? How do you make chirmol? Do you have a recipe, or do you have something like a different way to prepare chirmol, or a cup of coffee, right? If it is, um, if you don't know like a lot of recipes, probably you can prepare a cup of coffee with something extra, right? So we can we can do that. Uh, we have an example here. Also, it says a fruit salad. How do you make fruit salad? First, wash the fruit and peel it. Okay, lavar la fruta y pelarla, peel it. Then, cut the fruit into small pieces. Next, put the fruit on a bowl. After that, add some honey or yogurt on the fruit. And finally, enjoy a delicious fruit salad. So you see, it's very easy, right? We can uh, prepare a fruit salad uh, just in four or five steps, okay? But tomorrow you are going to give me the recipe, but if it is possible, if it is possible for you, I want, to, I want you to use uh, the ingredients in your house because you are in your house, right? If you are not in your house, probably if you are working, or if it is not possible for you, um, don't do it, okay? It's okay. But if you are in your house, and if you want to show us the recipe, try to do it, try to prepare the ingredients, right? I will prepare um, a recipe also, and I will show it to you how I prepare it. Probably I will be able to show it here, um, but I will prepare one, okay? So do you have any questions about tomorrow's activity? I know it's kind of difficult, probably, it will be kind of different, but we will try to do it. Do you have questions? Preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer mañana? No, no question. No question, no. Rosa. No questions. Okay. Rosa, what are we going to do tomorrow? ¿Qué vamos a hacer mañana? Rosa. Uh, the homework is uh, uh, make uh, the uh, recipe. Mm -hmm. About a uh, sandwich, a fresh salad, chirumbo, a cup of the coffee mm -hmm. uh, with a uh, other sequence. Mm -hmm. And are we going? Mm -hmm. Are we going to use real ingredients, or we are going to just say that the recipe? Uh, 
Uh, I try the ingredients. Depends yes. the time. <laughs> But be careful, ok, pueden traer los ingredientes, pueden enseñarnos cómo hacer la receta, pero tengan cuidado, no quiero que se vayan a quemar, que se vayan a cortar por estar enseñando, que vayan a tirar el agua en la computadora, I don't want accidents, ok, so be careful, Ken, Ken, what is Ken, what is Ken, Lizette? ok, so uh, tengan cuidado, si pueden hacerlo, háganlo, si no, este, nada más digan la receta, ¿verdad? Eh, y nada, y no solamente sándwich o fresh salad, sino que digamos que ustedes quieren hacer un sándwich de pollo, lo pueden hacer. Si quieren hacer un batido o, o, o cereal, por ejemplo, si quieren este, decir cómo hacen el, ustedes el cereal, si le echan fruta, si le echan vainilla, si le echan azúcar o si no le echan azúcar o si le echan otra cosa, pueden así eh, empezar a decir los pasos, ¿ok? So it's any recipe, any recipe. If it is easy, try to do it. And I guess that that will be it. I guess yes. Also, another thing that I wanted to to check here. You know Teacher, what? I have a question. Yes, question. Um, and it has to be only three food. Um, what else can you prepare that is not food? ¿Qué más puede explicar con sequence adverbs que no sea comida? No, no, esa es la pregunta. O sea, que solamente tiene que ser con, o sea, solamente se puede echar con comida. Um, yes, uh, we can use food or we can use something else, right? Puede ser otra cosa. Pero algo fácil. Yes, yes. Puede ser otra cosa o puede ser comida. Yes. Okay, very good. So uh, something else just to finish the class. Remember to complete the platform. Okay, we have uh, section four. We almost finished section four. Tomorrow we are going to have just a little review and we are going to practice with the presentations that you are going to do. Mañana vamos a practicarlo con las presentaciones y ustedes traten de terminar uh, la sección cuatro para mañana. Okay, o si ya la adelantaron traten de hacerla. Y si tienen preguntas, teacher, I don't know, number one, teacher, number three or four, let me know, okay, during the class, okay? Excuse me, teacher. Okay. Yes. Uh, excuse me, teacher, uh, a question. Mm -hmm. is, is there uh, an order in the sequence or can we change the order? Um, actually, we can change it. Um, Normally here it says first, then next, after that, and finally. If you want to, you can use it like that. But normally when we speak, we don't have an order, right? It's like in Spanish, right? No, no tenemos un orden de decir primero va, después de, y después va, entonces. No, it's more natural. Language is more natural. If you want to, you can change the order. But first has to be first, right? And finally has to be at the end, right? So, but you can change then, next to. If you want to use it like this, you can use it like this. Okay? Okay, thank you. And bueno, por lógica, no podemos comenzar por el finally. Yes, exactly. We cannot <laughs> begin with finally, exactly. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, another question? No more questions? Okay. No. Okay, very good. So, uh, we are going to finish the class right now. I hope to see you tomorrow with a lot of food, with your presentations, try to prepare the steps. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a nice evening. Thank you, teacher. Thank you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Rest. Good night. Good night. Good night.